I think of extrinsic rewards largely as a control system. Um, you're trying to change people's behavior by rewarding some behaviors and discouraging others, let's say. Um, so it, it's ideally set up for, it's not always used that way, but it's ideally set up for a kind of command and control uh, management where you tell people what to do and then use rewards and punishments as a way of carrots and sticks to make sure they're doing it and so on. Um, I think of uh, intrinsic motivation, on the other hand, as being crucial um, in more organic structures where, where people are, are given more choice and uh, have to deal with more uh, uncertainty. Um, when things are changing quickly, um, usually there are big gaps in existing performance systems, the, the rules, the, uh, um, the measures of performance and so on aren't, you know, aren't, aren't quite there. And in some cases you're talking about behavior that they call citizenship behavior because it's not rewarded. So on. And you're likely to get that out of, of intrinsic motivation. People will do the extra things and so on, do what's needed and so on, even though it's not rewarded. In some cases, it's actually punished by the system.